So we've recovered from Overgate. Um, not sure I will want any more. And it seems that the leftovers that Darren made for his lunch or left for his lunch are still in the fridge. So I don't think he's keen either. I'll, I'll get round to it. So today we've uh, we've made a purchase from Scandi Kitchen. So these are Scandinavian treats that I think um, we should be able to treat ourselves to after having to go through the hell that was Overgate. So um, we've got a couple of savoury items, a couple of sweet ones. So hopefully we should be on to, you know, a nice little treat. Oh, you don't look so cute. Um, I, I'm withholding judgment. Is that because you know um, Scandinavia eat a lot of fish? It is. Um, I have no objections to fish, I just have an objection to what Scandinavia do to it. You would be pleased to know, well you won't be, but you will be, um, that we haven't got that fish. Um, it yes, I'm pleased we don't have that fish. It, it wasn't available, but um, I'm sure oh, oh. somewhere down the line we may find the Stuerstrom on own at some point. Oh, dear Lord. But this is lovely. So, we've got one that needs warming up. So, if we show you this, um, these are fish dumplings. Um, hopefully, um, this will be around the right way when you see it, but um, they're made by ABBA, so um, they are good to know that they're still working, um, given, you know, that they split up and, you know, what not. Um, okay, okay, so let's have a look. Um, I'm suitably informed that this is in dill sauce. If you can hear anything, that's Brenda chewing the bone of disappointment. She had a filled bone for Christmas and her tongue's not long enough to get further in anymore. But um, anyway, so. She's far more excited by what you've got. This is it. This is, this is Brenda, everyone. Okay, so let's, let's pop the can. Oh, there's a vacuum on that. Oh, it's... it's... Oh, no. There's... there's... Leave, go away, settle down. There is an odour. It made its way over here, yeah. Actually, it's 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 quite. It's very interesting. Oh yeah. Oh god, that looks awful on camera. I can't imagine it looks any better in the real real life. So there you are, Brenda is. Very interested in it. So you can go out once this is ready. Yeah, I, I don't know too well, so, so Darren's going to heat this up. There we go. Darren's yeah. going to heat those up whilst um, I talk briefly. I'll let you prepare that while I talk because then um, I'll talk about the next one. And apparently this is Amanda's fish row. See, it's, it's another tin. I thought it needed cutting up. I actually think this is um, the fish alternative, the fish substitute to spam. Um, there's, there's not a lot of English on it, but I thought, well, it looks like spam. And... Um, there's an exclamation mark on it as they're describing it. So they might be very happy about the fact. But OK, so I can hear that going in the microwave. So while Darren makes his way back in, I'm just going to pop that seal. This doesn't... More stuff in the can. This is your fish spam. Oh, oh, good Lord. Now that, that, <laughs> that smells like cat food. Um, mm. oh, I'll let you go and just oh, should, oh, bring some forks in and we'll just dig in because I don't think you're going to be able to slice that like on the wrapper. I'll give it a go. Okay, so Brenda's very excited by this. So if um, 
if we don't like it, at least um, it may not go to waste. Um, what I'll do, I've just realised there's a pause button, so I'll just pause this a second while um, Darren does that, and then when it all starts back up again, we'll both be here. So I'll see you in a sec. Mm, we're back. I know that you didn't see the distance. Anyway, so we have both now. What would you like to try first? Well, let's go with the pate looking stuff. The fish so, spam. Because the other stuff looks... Mmm, that's nice. The other stuff is very hot. Okie koki. I'm... Okay, one lump or two I think this is a case of. So this was fish, compressed fish row, wasn't it? I'm getting cat or dog food. <laughs> it's like that chewy fish we had in Iceland. <laughs> we um we went on holiday to Iceland a few years ago and there was this questionable fish in this pickled solution and it sort of that that is Yes, it's really fishy, is, isn't it? It's it's fishy. Actually, it's like pureed chip. Don't 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 force yourself. It's like pureed right, it's... tuna. What kind of tuna are you eating? Low end. That's the smart price. <laughs> no. It's like tin salmon, but yes, really, really low end. I mean, John John West is not going to sell this rubbish. <laughs> yeah, um, that is. I think cutting two slices was optimistic. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save mine for later. So, what are we on to now? The fish dumplings in dill sauce. I don't. Uh, the, absolutely stink our kitchen stinks of fish now but they look oh they look quite nice they're like unbreaded nuggets i mean they do look edible which for us is they smell quite nice somewhat of an achievement that's that okay oh they smell better hot yeah they smell quite nice i feel like the fish and butter sauce that you get from the supermarket the sauce is quite nice And then you bite into the fish and it's a whole load of disappointment. There's no flakes. It's it's literally chewed up fish that's been... Squashed out together. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. Actually, uh, I would go back for more of that than I would of the, um, the spam. Yeah, the spam can get naughty. But... The sauce is nice, it's, it's just disappointing that there's no texture to it. They are like... Texture, right? They are like low-end nuggets without the breading. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I am hopeful that there is going to be something more appealing, though. What, in my box? Yes, although I can see the contents of the box. Well, I'm not hopeful. Seeing that we weren't really overwhelmed by those, I think we should have some uh, some moomin tea to um, wash it down with. So there are four flavours in this, and it's called All Things Fun Are Good For Your Tummy. So um, I don't... I'm not sold on good for your tummy. And I'm not going to attempt to read that. So, okay, so we have four flavours. I'll, I'll read the English translation. We've got Me Too, which is, so it's all red bush tea. Um, and the fact, so Me Too is strawberry milkshake flavour. We've got Ready To Go, which is banana and vanilla flavour. Mm. You'll See, which is chocolate cake flavour. And Tangy Trick, I don't know if that's, translated very well but that's um cheesecake flavor is brenda growling because she can't come in here 
Okay, so let's try the... We, we, we've only been brave enough to sort of share a glass. So this is the strawberry, the strawberry milkshake flavour. Oh, it smells like strawberry. I mean, that's definitely strawberry tea. You do get a bit of strawberry, it, but then again, with tea and things like that, it's all a bit hit and miss. I've gone for completely sort of no added sweet or anything in it. Clearly, they haven't added anything either. Mm. That's hot water. Okay, so that's a no. Um, next, we'll do the um, banana and vanilla, which is that one, I believe. Oh, not the yellow one. No, oh, believe it or not. You can smell banana, but you don't really get an awful lot of anything else. It's just sort of red bush tea. That reminds me of the antibiotics I had in China. Yeah, they used to make me vomit. Banana-ish. 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 I'm looking forward to this one. It is the chocolate cake flavour one. I'm assuming it's the one with the brown packet. Now, I'm getting sponge cake. Or not? Okay. I, I don't have a very good sense of smell. But I haven't had for years. That's all you get is smell, I'm afraid. It's It's sort of... That is just hot water. They're all just hot water. This is why I drink coffee. Oh no, it's not like a good cup of tea, is it? So, and this is the cheesecake one. I believe it's lemon cheesecake. It does smell lemony. Oh, it does taste lemony. It tastes like lemon frosting. That's got more taste than the rest of them. So, Just. now that you've adequately cleaned your palate of fishy goodness. With coloured hot water, yes. I bring to you reindeer jerky. Now, you're not a fan of jerky anyway, are you? But this... Mm, no. This is a small little morsel of Rudolph. I don't actually know how you get in here. We can't call it Rudolph. Yeah, we, can. we really can't. I might even tag the video as with Rudolph so anyone that searches for Rudolph um we pop up. We're gonna just shatter Christmas for millions. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just tell him he got the road. So Brenda had some reindeer jerky she as did. as a treat for Christmas one year. Which Begs the question, why am I eating it? Bearing in mind, the dog. <laughs> well, this is this is human stuff, and I ate well, the dog stuff, and yeah, I well. was a little underwhelmed by it. But so it doesn't smell of anything. It's certainly very chewy, isn't it? I mean. I like my bacon crispy, but this is like dehydrated, like within an inch of its life. It's, it's, it's got like a, that sort of bloody metallic -y taste to it. Or am I just being... Yeah. I'm... Yeah. That sort of iron rich taste. Yeah. I mean, it's not disgusting, but my, you couldn't eat a lot of it. You end up with a very sore jaw. Well, jaw training is all the rage currently. So, anyway. but yeah, no, I, I'm not. I'm not into that. I um, for a pasty personally, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, no, it's that. That's but beef jerky is a bit different. I, I I quite like beef jerky. I think I've had it once. I say I think I've had it. Hmm. But um, so we've moved on to something sweet now. Oh, God, well, actually, let's go for the. 
sweet savoury fusion just to ease you into pudding. Yeah, you shouldn't fuse stuff like that. So um it's smash. Um so these are they're not um instant potato mashed potatoes. This is um they look like them crisps, you know them bugles that were around at one point. Um, it, it's then covered in chocolate. Salt, sprot and sprot. Yep. <clears throat> so I don't know what salt and sprot is, but... I don't know what flavour they are. Yummy! Salt and sprot. Oh, okay. oh, oh my. So, um, there, there they are. I think... I think these could be quite nice. These would be like chocolate cornflake cakes. Oh! They're, oh. Like, they're like them cereals. Do you remember Chex? No. No? I think they were a very brief introduction. But they're, gr they're gross. Oh, I'll have them then. No, you can have those. Um... Oh, I think they're very nice. No. No? No, they're, they're confused. They're not sure what they are, savoury or sweet. Mm. Please tell me this is something better in that box. Well, I ordered this next one because it's, no, it's probably not translated, but the Swedish or... Great. The, the Scandinavian word on it reminded me of skids. Um... But this is some sort of gold bar. And this is um, chocolate with rum caramel cream. Now I'm interested. Now you're interested. Okay. So, um, yeah. Bearing in mind, I, oh, these, these are Danish. Good old Tom. Now. I just know. Everything else is to go, by. This is going to be a whole load of disappointment. Oh, they're big squares. Oh. I've got a big mouth. So, I'll give you your other bit in a second. Yeah, no. Oh! Fine. They are big squares. That's, that's the rest. Thick chocolate as well, obviously. Mmm! So, the rest of mine's stuck in the packet. But I, I think this has got potential. Yeah. Yours appears to have had a packaging yeah. problem. Yeah, damaged in transit, but yeah. okay. No surprise. Man, that chocolate thick. And crunchy. I hope my dentist doesn't accidentally find this, because um, I'm booked in to see her in a couple <coughs> of weeks for a, a couple of fillings. Hi, Dr. Hakeem. Um, That's quite nice. Mmm. I don't know if it's because I had the broken bit that that flavour has come out. You can suck the filling out of it. It's very nice, actually. And it's very rummy. Now, this I like. We can order more of this. Okay. Yeah. That and the crisps. Yes, these are nice. I think everything else is probably a thanks but no thanks. Um, yeah. We shall... Yeah, but we shall see on that one. Although I liked the dumplings too, so... Well, bad. Your Scandinavian experience in one word would be... Mixed. Oh, okay. Um, chocolate, very nice. That's sort of high-end. And it sort of ranges right down to that pate looking rubbish, which nearly made me vomit. Oh, it's not good when you put up. So, I we... think Scandinavian food sits somewhere between great and vomit. On the scale of one to Ikea meatball, where would you place most of this? Nothing beats an Ikea meatball. Uh, most of it's sort of the middle of the range. But mm. the, the chocolate's very close, that's nice. I think we'll have to invest in some more probably sweeter treats because i think you know 
we've we've been quite cruel to ourselves but hey it gets the views um okay so fishy is probably the best way fishy and dry mm. but um yeah the teas were a bit disappointing the jerky was disappointing um the spam stuff did make my gullet a little short um yeah we'll have to find someone to palm that off on i've got i've got someone in mind but um yeah the the, the crisps and the chocolate were it for me um we have a rather light-hearted uh video planned for the next one so if you have a very childish sense of humor you'll probably quite like this next one um so that's not me then <laughs> i'm sure we can we can we can make you right no i'm no no okay so yeah um we almost vomited we didn't um that's it really i don't know how to round these sort of things up so um yeah um thanks for watching bye love you bye